this week I thought of um, the amount of words we say to people. We say thousands and thousands of words to each and every different person, whether we see them in the street, whether we meet them um, in our workplaces, colleges, wherever we go, we talk to people. And I feel that your tongue is so powerful because your tongue can rip people apart and destroy people's confidence, but then your tongue can also build people up. And I think we have to be quite careful in how we talk to people and the way we talk to them, because sometimes it's really easy if somebody um, attacks you verbally and says, oh, you're rubbish or something, or spreads rumors about you, it's so easy to go at them back straight away, because you'd be like, yeah, but you've done this, you've done this, you've done that. But sometimes we need to step back and be like, okay, no, I, I don't have to have a go at you. You might be having a bad day. If you don't want to talk to me, that's fine. Just go away. But the Bible says that your tongue is set on fire by the very fire of hell. So your tongue has got destructive power. And like I said, I've done it before, uh, regrettably, that you can just tear people apart with just the wrong sentence, even the wrong word that you can say to people. People just remember maybe a word that you say to them. But also, it has wonderful tendencies. If you use your speech, how you talk to people, to build one another up in love and good works, the Bible says, then it can be used to healing. It says that it's like honey in the Bible, that is sweet to the lips and healing to the skin. That is, what, that is what we need to do. Whether we're a Christian or not, it's using what we have as best we can. And how amazing is it if you just go out and say something nice to someone? It, it just brings someone's day, doesn't it? They could be having a rubbish day, but you could say to them, oh, by the way, you, you look nice today. I hope all is well, you know, I'm praying for you or whatever. And you, you might just think, and that person may have had a rubbish day, but might have think, thought, Oh, thank you very much for that. I really needed that. So I just encourage you, just maybe once this week, if somebody attacks you, don't retaliate. Don't just say it back. Because the Bible says we should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. We need to make sure that we're quite calm in those situations. But I give you the challenge to, to at least one person this week, Say something nice to someone that maybe you don't even know. Because then, I tell you what, that'll bring warmth to their heart. Thank you.